There are new superheroes. Do you want to meet them? Do you want to know who they are? Watch the video. Hi, welcome to my channel. I am Frank Kinyegas, the ambassador of reading. And today's topic is about superheroes. And before we get to it, I want to say thank you for all your support. Um, we did tell you about our next goal of reaching 100,000 subscribers and numbers are going up. Thanks to people like you that are watching the channel and sharing it. All righty, very well. Superheroes. You know, I showed up to the to this beautiful place that we have where we shoot our videos. I showed up to the team and we're getting ready to clean the table and they're starting to put stuff away. And I, and I tell them, hold it, hold it. No, no, wait. Let's talk about superheroes. And they said, what about your topic? And I said, never mind the topic. I think this is a wonderful, wonderful topic. And they said, are you sure? And I said, I'm sure. I've done this topic before. I just never realized it was going to happen today the way it happened. And I'm happy that it did happen this way. So this toys belong to my great grandnephew, Noah Vincent. Um, his father, Felix, was putting stuff away. And I go, no, let, let me have an opportunity. Our children, meaning you being parents and me being parents, our children, our, their first heroes, we are their first uh, heroes and our parents were our first heroes. We look up to our parents, whether good, bad, we're looking up to them. So however our parents behave, believe it or not, whether the child knows how to read or take notes or not, the children at a very young age are, are taking mental notes and they see how the father behaves, how the mother behaves if they're around. And if the father or mother yell or they, or they hit or they break, and they misbehave, they're, they're taking mental notes. And as a child gets older, they, believe it or not, do your own research. I'm a child development major. However, I know this is a fact. They start making mental notes. Why is my father this way, but that father is this way? Or my mother is this way, and that mother is this way. And they start comparing. And if you're not a very good parent because you're yelling, screaming, or, or, or breaking, or hitting, they're like, oh man, I didn't get a good superhero. Mine's not a very good one. Now let's turn it around at a, at a 180 degrees. Let's say you are that father, you are that mother that, that's caring and love and loving. And you talk to your children. They're thinking like, wow, I have the best superheroes. I have the best mom and dad. And that's what it takes. And um, let me tell you, not it's not perfect. I think we have a... a a mistake with all the uh, media that goes on with the Facebook and Instagram and the perfect dish, the perfect sunset, perfect parents. It's not like that. So don't be too harsh on yourself. We're all going to have mistakes. And I know that if we make mistakes and we go to the heart and we apologize, we communicate, things are different. I remember at the beginning of, our, of my time when I started presenting for the public, um, before we had our company SEPA, I started Mastermind and out of Mastermind, we did SEPA. And I remember we had to learn everything that we wanted to teach. And we come from the PSI seminar. So we had to take notes, verbatim notes, learn everything, learn about the material, how, how and why it was said. And I remember my friends, cause it wasn't just one percenter. I think there were five of us presenting at the beginning of time. And I remember we would get off the stage and we, would, and we would talk amongst each other and say, oh, I could have done this better, or I forgot to say this, or I didn't make a connection here. And, um, <clears throat> you know, little by little, after our meetings, we figured out that um, we talked amongst us and said, you know what, whenever you know you made a mistake or whenever you know that you didn't make a connection, don't stay stuck in your head. You know what, connect to the heart. And that's what I want to tell you with your kids. We're, we're going to make mistakes. Maybe you raised your voice without even knowing, or maybe you got upset and you knocked something down. You could always come back and say, you know what? I, I, come here, son, or come here, daughter. I want to apologize. Uh, I, I, you know, I shouldn't lose my control or, you know, I just didn't think about it. I reacted. And you know what? When you go to the heart, things are going to be good. And so everything that you're doing, believe it or not, that your children are making a mental note of it. So, and, and I understand we're gonna make mistakes and it's okay to make mistakes. Don't be too harsh on yourself. 
If, if anybody out there was perfect, we would all be listening to that one perfect person. But you know what? There's not one. Absolutely not one in the millions and millions of people that are here. No one's perfect. We're all going to have mistakes. Do connect to the heart, though. Do go to the heart and do apologize and do talk about perspectives. Uh, let me tell you a story. You know I love stories. One time, my son, my oldest son, I always talk about my children, Adam, Nick, or Paola, or all three of them. In this case, I wanted to mention all three, but I'll talk about Adam. Adam was, I don't know, he must have been 10 or 11. And I remember I had a reprimand, the kid, and, and I went up to him and I said, come here, son, let's talk. So he sits down and I, I didn't know how to reprimand him, but I, I'm glad that I thought of what I did. I said, listen, kid, um, this is what happened. And I want you to tell me, if you were the parent, how would you feel? If you were me, how do you think you would feel? And, you know, he got a tear or two and he goes, oh, yeah, dad, I'm sorry. And I said, that's okay, son. That's perspective. You're looking at it from my angle. That's huge. You're able to see, you're able to put yourself in my shoes. And, you know, I need to put myself in your shoes, too. And I remember we hugged and kissed and we called it a day and that was it go to perspective how does your child feel how do you feel let him know let her know so remember we're we're their first superheroes and i saw these and there's a whole bunch of heroes here and a whole bunch of heroes here i know you probably can't see them on the camera and that's cool but we are their first superheroes they do look up to us and we don't have to wear a mask and we don't need to fly and we don't need to wear our underwears on the outside we're just naturally superheroes for our children. And they do make a mental note. And the best that you can do is connect the mind to the heart and love them and, and take care of them and make and be the best superhero that you can be. So I want to say I want to thank Noah, Vincent Noah, Noah Vincent. He forgot his uh, puzzles. Well, he didn't forget him. He, he, had, he was having a good time. And I'm glad I told my nephew to Felix to leave him alone so that I can uh, let you know that you are a superhero. Uh, man, mom or dad, you're, you're superheroes. And sometimes it's gotta be one or the other. And in many occasions, there's both of you and congratulations, that's good too. That's excellent, as a matter of fact. And before we close off the topic of superheroes, as you know, I am the ambassador of reading. And let me tell you what, if you read because you're their superhero, they're gonna wanna read. Here, hand me my book. Let me tell you, the, I, I, this is the only book I've written so far. I do plan to write more books and I will translate this one in, Spanish, in English. And if you want to check it out, you can go to my website, frankiniguez.com and you're going to be able to see it. You know what? Do become a reader now. If your children are small, they're watching every move you do, every move. If you don't believe me, do an observation on your own children. You're going to see them. And they're copying everything that you do, the way you comb your hair, the way you walk, the way you eat. And you know what? Best of all, the way you read. Sit with a good book and read. Read with them and read to them. Read to yourself and let them watch their superhero be a reader. Very well. <clears throat> We're going to leave it at that. Till next time, your friend, the ambassador of reading, Frank Kinigas, wishing you well today and always, knowing that you will find and get what you are looking for. Congratulations and thank you for watching until the end. If you, if you like the information, there are more videos that you can watch. Also, if you're not part of this community yet where you're subscribed, you can subscribe down here. Also make your comments. I love reading comments and share because that's what makes the channel grow. Thank you and welcome to the channel. <laughs>